All right, so we're here at a small two-mile race. We had a 5K yesterday, got a two-mile today. We're getting to where we're double or triple or quadruple booked every weekend, so that's good. But, uh, one good thing about that is that we have our system to where it only takes, I mean, no time at all to set up. And, and uh, So I wanted to kind of give you a quick overview of how we set it up and uh, what we do and why we do it. And I'll try to focus a little bit more on the hardware side of things instead of just people finishing the race. And so... Uh, ahead of time, I bought these ribbons and these cones uh, with the weights at the bottom. I don't, I don't remember where. He's, he's over there. We can ask him in a little while. Um, but as they come through the finish line, first thing they'll see is these black mats. These are just 3 by 3 uh, mats that you can buy at Home Depot or Lowe's. They do interlock together. No, we don't have them interlocked now, but they you can interlock them if you want to. The only thing these do is just cover uh, the cables. We've got three antenna cables because we've got three antennas, and we have a power cord going to the clock on this side. Uh, of course, we could have set the clock up on that side and not run the power cord, but since we got the match, we might as well. Um, those are 40 or 50 foot long cables. You see a reader over there. So one of the cables is stretched all the way this way, all the way over to the other side. Um, so we want to put our first two antennas to where they're connected to the main reader. So at the moment they hit the line, now keep in mind the RFID has got you know, a little bit of a wide beam coming out. And so we usually put them, um, you know, uh, about six inches behind the finish line, something like that, and that'll, that'll pick them up really close. Uh, might actually scoot these in just a hair. Let's do this. So, so yeah. that way because they're going to kind of come in at an angle. Okay. I didn't want to point this way. Gotcha. Gotcha. So we put the first two antennas uh, connect, connected to the 9500. No, no, don't be pushing. The, uh, the second antenna here is connected to our backup reader, the TR200. Uh, and so if, if our main reader were to go down, then... Yeah, you know, this first antenna, that antenna, and these three would die, and we would have this one, which reads out about six feet, uh, picking up everybody. And if we noticed that our main reader, you know, went down for any reason, of course we would maybe narrow the finish line down a little bit and make that antenna to where it's um, you know, easy to pick up all six feet, and then we can go working on our main reader to get it back up, up going. Um, but luckily that hardly ever happens. But as a higher professional, you want to have as many backups in place as is possible. So. That, and notice another thing too is these tripods. We have it to where the neck is all the way up, but the base is all the way not as wide as it'll go because it will go, you know, 180 completely flat. Uh, but it's the next level as wide as it'll go. Uh, that, you know, it's a little bit windy today, but that has no problems holding the antennas up. We've never had an antenna blow over. And so, uh, of course, we have our LED clock too, which is not really needed because you could hook up another 42-inch TV and have it near the finish line uh, with the clock. Uh, being displayed from the manual backup laptop. I didn't expect that, but anyways, uh, yeah, so then we got our uh, camera and our TV. Which is probably looks quite a bit darker in the video here, but it's easy to see here. Uh, it's real, real hot, real hot. So.